And welcome to Bay Sunday, everyone. I'm your host, Frank Malico. Good to have you on board. And we begin each week with a pitch. If you got a show idea, we'd love to hear from you. Go to our Facebook page at facebook.com. You see it there, slash Bay Sunday. Comment to the page, and hopefully we can get in touch. We begin at the movies this Sunday. Now in its 38th year, it's the biggest, the longest-running LGBT film festival on the planet. And it's right here in San Francisco. 214 films, 30 plus countries, all yours to see at the Frameline 38 Film Festival. And we are delighted to have senior programmer Peter Stein with us and filmmaker Jennifer Crute to Bay Sunday. How are you guys? Good. How Great are you? to see you. Welcome Thanks aboard. for having us here. Well, it keeps getting bigger and better. <laughs> uh, 213 films. How many do you actually get submitted, and oh, how do you? How do you whittle it down? Um, it's, a, it's a fun job, but it is exhausting. Um, th we had more than 800 submissions this year, and that doesn't include many of the films that we're looking at at festivals around the world. To get down to what we think is a, is a wonderful representative group of films, really for all tastes, uh, all genres, uh, there are comedies, there's music, there's wonderful documentaries, uh, like Jennifer's film that we'll talk about, and uh, awards, some high-profile folks. It takes, it's really a year-round process to get down to the 200. And, I get well, you, yeah. you're watching a lot of movies, I guess, aren't you? Yeah, um, but that's the fun part because now what we're doing is matching interesting movies, um, whether it's a documentary about the Proposition 8 um, mm -hmm. uh, campaign to overturn that or a really fun um, uh, pr documentary about George Takei or, jo or Greg Louganis or Barney Frank. These are films that we love to show. I covered and get, Barney in Boston for years. He's a character. Well, you'll get to meet him at the frame line because oh, he's good. coming. Yeah. Well, Jennifer, a nice segue into you. Um, you uh, spent three years hanging out with George Takei of Star Trek fame and has gone on to do some uh, wonderful things, uh, an advocate for uh, gay rights, uh, for Japanese Americans, a number of things. Uh, mm -hmm. What was that like to hang out with him for three years? Uh, well, it's, it was pretty amazing. I mean, George is a really amazing guy. I mean, he is, he's relentless. He doesn't seem to ever get tired. He's 77 years old. He's got this um, wonderful uh, sort of functional dysfunctional relationship with his husband Brad and uh, which is also part of the film and um, so you know it was we just had to try to keep up <laughs> really because he never slows down he does civil rights speeches he does acting jobs he's on the Howard Stern show he does voiceovers he's producing um, a musical about um, the internment of Japanese Americans since he was imprisoned in an internment camp as a child. So, it, you know, and it's all in the film. All, all <laughs> in the film. There we go. How long is the film? The film is 90 minutes. 90 minutes. And mm -hmm. how much footage did you have to shoot to get 90 minutes? Um, well, it's at least 100 hours. Oh, my gosh. So, and then there's all the archival footage of, of George, George in Star Trek, George yeah. doing news shows throughout his career. Um, just a lot of great archival footage helps tell okay. the story, too. Well, let's take a look at a little clip to B to K. Here it is right here. Take a look. I met George a couple of years ago and he told him about the Kevin Keller character and he was really supportive of it since he's the first, you know, openly gay Archie character. It just seems sort of like a natural sort of like storyline that Kevin would be inspired by George. Hello, how are you? You must but I must. That's very impressive. <laughs> Thank you. Can you put Oh My on there? Oh My? <laughs> life is reality TV for the rest of your life. You're a young, young man and what's going to happen is you just pretend the cameras aren't there. That's how I do it. You determine your destiny. I don't believe in negativity. If I did believe in that, that usually comes true. I, in my own life, have been the beneficiary of an optimistic view of life. My life today is much... I love his voice. There's a soothing, just relax kind of way about him, is it there? His virtual voice is pretty amazing, too. Do you know he has 7 million Facebook followers? He's, he's a social media phenomenon. Oh, so, my God. Um, uh, we're really happy. He's coming on Tuesday the 24th. It's our centerpiece film, and he's getting our big frame line award Absolutely. in honor not just of his you know, movie career, but and of all of his advocacy. And, Jennifer, when you're out with him, with mm -hmm. the cameras, obviously, but do people just flock to him? Oh, my God, it's Mr. Sulu. It's George Takei. <laughs> yes, they do. And not everybody says Mr. Sulu, though. Some, oh, oh, sure. uh, some people do. Uh, some well, people my generation say, might, but... Yes. 
Some Others people wouldn't. say, oh, it's the comedian from Facebook, or, or yeah. some people say it's the guy from Howard Stern, or occasionally they say, um, he, you know, he was on that, uh, The Apprentice, or it's the guy from The Apprentice. Oh, so, sure. You know, um, they know him in, in many different ways, but usually they see him in some as a beloved figure of pop culture, for sure. And how important for you to have this platform to showcase your film? Oh, uh, Frameline? I love Frameline. This is my third feature-length film at, at Frameline. Um, I had one in 2003 one in 2009 and and now to be TK um, and also I mean it's I it's my favorite festival in the area I oh. love the people that run it <laughs> I can't baby. I can't <laughs> say um, you know enough great things about it it's uh, they just pack all the theaters but the Castro theater over and over again they have the best audiences um, such a spirit of community um, it's it's just like that theater just laughs and cries this whole time it and I was going to yeah. say, Peter, you kind of you guys tackle a number of different things, and uh, we were talking off camera. One of the films talks about uh, the gay movement in Russia. Yeah, in fact, we have a whole um, sort of a sidebar of films, four different film programs this year, taking a look at LGBT life and the challenges of um, being gay and lesbian in Russia right now. It's amazing that there are films being made at all in Russia that deal with gay themes because of the very harsh so-called anti-propaganda rules that were passed there last year. So the staff at Frameline and I work off hard to identify not just documentaries and short programs but actual narrative features there's a drama that's called stand that is quite wonderful um, about a, a gay couple in Moscow that thinks that they may have witnessed a gay bashing and they decide to investigate it themselves um, another uh, really wonderful kind of film noirish uh, uh, kind of a tale of obsessive love called winter journey and then a documentary called campaign of hate which is kind of a really great primer on what is the situation like now for gays and lesbians, sure. and we'll follow that with a panel discussion. And that's part of the, the goal of Frameline in a way is, of course, we show fun movies, goofy ones, great profiles, but also to take a, an important topic like that and to say, what are artists and filmmakers saying about yeah. this topic right now? Delivering a message. Hopefully. Hopefully. Yeah. yeah. Um, I was going to say, just uh, Frameline has been very supportive of this film um, the whole way along. I actually received the Frameline completion fund. Um, they, they offer a grant to filmmakers and so... Um, right, because films don't come out of anywhere. They, yeah. so, so, it costs uh, money. Yeah. 100 hours shot. Exactly. So uh, uh, we as a festival are, are interested in trying to encourage voices and, and films and filmmakers even before the films are, are complete. And so um, to be to K, we knew right from the get-go was There's going to be a strong run. And so we, we invested some money in that. Starts yeah. June 19th. The Castro Theater also over in Berkeley too? We can yes, see some of this? Yes. Actually three theaters in San Francisco. Okay. The Castro, the Roxy, and the Victoria in the Mission District and over at the Elmwood in Berkeley. And it runs through the 29th. Awesome. Okay. Great to meet you, Jennifer. Thank All the you best. So much. All the best. Thank You're you, good, Frank. Good Come luck. We'll see you at the movies. I'd love to. For more information about Frameline and the upcoming Frameline Film Festival, log on to frameline.org. That's frameline.org. Back with more Bay Sunday. Stay right there.